potato is one of the important food crops in Uganda. It is grown in high altitudes of Uganda, in Chigezi, Ruenzori, and Elgon regions. Those who consume potato in areas that do not grow potato may not know what farmers go through. Meet Herbert Friday, a potato farmer in Kavale. <laughs> Late blight, a fungal potato disease, is a great challenge to potato production. Farmers rely on spraying fungicide to get some yield. Fungicides is expensive and resource-constrained farmers find it so difficult to afford the fungicides. The few sprays they could afford are never enough to keep the disease off the field. Scientists are working on a solution that could be ready by 2020, changing things for the better for farmers. If all goes well, as we have planned, by 2020, we should have that variety out there ready for the farmers to take it up. Which is much shorter time compared to conventional breeding that could have taken us at least 50 years to just release one variety with one gene that confers resistance to this devastating disease. Scientists in Uganda under the National Agricultural Research Organization in close collaboration with the International Potato Center, CIP, is on the verge of releasing Victoria One variety to Ugandan farmers. Uh, this is a product which is going to be a liberator to a farmer who has been struggling all along uh, with, the, with the blight disease. Those attributes within it that farmers are interested in when it comes to a, 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 a table potato will still remain. We've done uh, three confined field trials in Kabale, in southwestern Uganda, and uh, with a good success we showed that the variety that we developed had zero disease as compared to the variety that is grown by farmers. And who doesn't want a potato which is resistant to late blight? The project is meant to support resource-poor farmers to realize good yields for improving income and food security. Potato is becoming popular by each day uh, around the major cities, so production and consumption is going to increase over the years. Our target is to get this biotech variety to the farmer. To me it would be a wonderful day when this product gets into the hands of the farmer.